My name is Don. I own and operate Virtual 360 Images. The following videos are going to be on Adobe Print Shop Elements 11. In this video we're going to talk about straightening your pictures. A number of times you have taken pictures, bring it up on the screen and it's tipped a little bit one way or the other. On the toolbar on the left, down in the lower part, there's a tool down there called Straighten Tool. I click on that. The lower part of the screen, you'll see three options down there. I'm going to use first the option on the left, which will let the screen grow to the shape of the straightening out and you'll see as I do this I bring my up in the middle of the screen there you'll see my little crosshairs I put it on the edge of that wall right there and then follow the line down a ways and then let go of the mouse you can see at this point the wall did become horizontally straight but you've got white edges at the top the bottom left right shows you how much it actually tipped the picture there's what it was for redo there's what it is now I'm going to undo I'm going to go over to the box on the right will allow the picture to tip but will do everything it can to keep the original format of the picture again I bring the crosshairs up on the base drag it across let go it also leaves some area up towards the top the bottom left and right of white and at that point what you have to do is crop it and cut those areas out. In this particular picture it's not going to have a big effect on it. I'm going to show you one in a minute where it actually shows you how it does crop it off. I'm going to undo. I'm going to pick the one in the center which leaves the whole thing the original size as I crop it. So we come down here we run the line along that base again Our wall is straight and you don't see anything along either of the edges. What it does, it goes ahead and crops it for you. There is a feature in Elements 12 which I kind of like. If I come back over here on the little box on the left and do this again, you see I've got the areas that are white up the top, the bottom, left and right. Elements 12 has a new feature called Auto Fill which will take the areas alongside the white part and stretch them out and fill those areas in. Once in a while you may have to go back and do a little touch up but it will do 95 percent of it will be correct. The other thing is I tell people if you're going to straighten and you're also going to crop. I'm going to go back and use the center one. If you're going to crop this picture, straighten first, crop later. Okay, I'm going to go back to my photo bin. I'm going to pick one more here. This is the lion. I've used him in several of my uh, videos. This is one where I said on the previous one I said to crop, straighten, crop later. This will give you a good idea what I'm talking about on this. If I go over and click on straighten, come in here and draw a line along the platform that he's sitting on and straighten that up. Watch the top of his head.
it went ahead and cropped it, but it cropped it, it cropped out part of the head. If I go back and undo. I can come over here to the box on the left and you can see what it's actually doing. I come in here to do a straighten. And you can see because of the white area at the top and the bottom, in order to crop this, it's going to come right through the top of his head. See where my line's at? In Elements 12, the new feature called Auto Fill will leave that shape there and add the background colors uh, and images in to fill the white area and you don't chop off the top of the head. But again, that's why I've always said to go ahead and straighten first, crop later. This one, the lion had been uh, cropped first and then straightened. One more quick one to show you that straightening does help the appearance of your picture. Picture of a house I took for a realtor, a little bit on the slanted side. If I come in here, click on straighten. I'm going to use the little box in the middle which will automatically crop it for me. And I'm just going to kind of guess where the line is, how much I have to straighten. There. I think that kind of cleans up that picture and uh, makes it a little bit more presentable now that it's level versus unlevel. If I do an undo, do a redo, you can see how much difference there is in that. So use that tool called Straighten. Uh, it's a powerful little tool and it will kind of clean up your photos. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.